It's 5.30 a.m. on our way to do a little PR day. We're going to uh, do a couple of morning uh, news spots, some radio. If there's anybody who lives in San Diego, they're going to know about this fight. Monster in hand. Hey, dude. Knock him out, Sam. Yes, sir. Thank you. Look who is in studio. The man, the Hall of Famer himself. The people's Ooh. champion. He has a big fight coming up right here in San Diego. November the 15th. Tito. Tito. Wow. Tito. 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 Stop. Right off. Sure. No, yeah, of course not. Oh, yeah. Great. The first guy where I said, man, I got to watch this guy fight was Tito Ortiz. So for me, it's a great thrill to have you in here. But how many times do you hear that? Because I know others in the sport have downplayed the role you had on the growth of MMA. I'm very thankful for my fans. If it wasn't for my fans, I wouldn't be here today. They're the ones that, you know, inspire me to better myself in the gym each and every day. Of course, my children, I want to give them everything in life, every opportunity in life that I possibly can give them. And fighting is my vehicle to do that right now. You're a single dad at this point. Yeah, I'm a single father right now with uh, twin boys. Uh, Ooh, how old are they now? They're five years old now. Wow. wow. They're amazing. They're little sponges. They're the best thing in the world. Yeah, of Oh, my God. Also, I yeah. mean, people say love. You don't have love until you have kids. Sure. Uh, for sure. sure. Yeah. Um, Jacob, your oldest son, yes. who's 12, he's already kind of shown an interest in fighting. How do you feel about that as a dad? I, I'm the one who put my body through the damage, so he doesn't have to do this. And I'm the one trying to make the money, so he doesn't have to do it. This is actually the easy stuff. PR is the most easiest thing you can do. Fighting is the second easiest thing to do. Now training, that's a bitch. Why do you keep doing? Why keep coming back? It's for the love of it. Are you ever gonna retire? Is it something you do for? Am I ever? No, I'm still competing, and it's just, it's just amazing that my body's able to compete at the level that I want to compete. I plan on retiring, you know, when I get the world title on my waist. Uh, yeah. Uh, after one more fight, of course, on uh, November 15th, uh, I'll be fighting Stefan Bonner. We just beat the world champion in my last fight, and I still have it. You know, I just fought actually May 17th, uh, Alexander Shemenko. I stopped Who him. Who challenged you? He challenged me, um, and it's funny because I took so much flack from people saying, oh, you stomped a smaller man. And, right. But before that, everybody's like, oh, you're going to get killed. <laughs> yeah, well, we brought an extra security right here just in case he would try to start mad mugging us or trying to get too gangster on us. <laughs> Tito Ortiz Ooh. taking on Stefan Bonner. Stephanie Bonner. He has no qualification to be in the cage with me, um, but he's going to take a butt whipping to, <laughs> to, to get it, that's for sure. I'm going to let him get up. I'm going to put him back down. I'm going to put him back up. I'm going to put him back down. I'm going to put him back up. The referee stops. The referee stops it. I'm, I'm out for blood. Get your tickets awesome. right away. Go on Bellator.com. Nice. Yeah. Tito, pleasure having you in here, my friend. Yes. Well, that's uh, five hours of PR. Now it's time to just try to cave Bonner's face in November 15th. Watch it, it's coming.